Hello everyone in this video let us talk about uh, creating a new hierarchy in uh, portfolio for Jira. So today let us uh, talk about how to create a new hierarchy in uh, portfolio for Jira. In the previous video we discussed uh, how to show the issue assignee on the plan and we spent some time uh, understanding how we can uh, reflect the issue assignee on both life plan and the improved interface and we also learned how to assign the issues from the plan to the actual Jira issues. In this video we are going to discuss uh, how to create a new hierarchy level in uh, portfolio. We will talk about uh, the parent link and the epic link. So we will also look uh, how to manage those parents and how to basically view them uh, easily when you're looking at your plan because uh, when you have the hierarchy defined you will let us say have uh, initiatives then you will have epics under initiatives then you will have stories under uh, epics so you can of course view them when you're looking at your plan but uh, with the help of the parent and epic link you can also see the actual uh, issue ID separately as a field in your view. So we will uh, be able to of course uh, manage it. So it, it is actually possible to add these fields when you're working on the plan or at least uh, there is a possibility of managing those specific links. So let us uh, move on to our Jira instance and uh, the first thing that you may want to do, the first thing that you need to do if you want to add a new uh, portfolio hierarchy level you need to go to your uh, portfolio uh, configurations portfolio administration so when you go to the manage apps uh, you will find a portfolio for jira section here on the left hand side so you have this uh, portfolio hierarchy uh, configuration now what you need to do you need to uh, add a level so adding a level is very simple you just uh, give your level a name and then you need to assign let us say you want to add uh, some <coughs> level like uh, let me just you know type in here high level uh, and uh, this high level is something that you need to map to a specific issue type so you need to basically have these issue types mapped to these levels so this is one thing that you need to do the second thing that you also need to do is make sure the projects that you're using in your plan it could be a life plan it could be your improved interface those projects should have the initiative level or the level that you create here and uh, the issue type map to that level uh, this particular issue type like in this case i have initiative so initiative issue type should be part of your uh, project that you're using as your source in the plan it is applicable to both improved and live plan so what you need to do you need to go to the configure for your uh, plan and uh, when you take a look at the issue sources you should have uh, one of these boards which is of course nothing but a filter coming from a project and that project should have the initiative issue type so once you do all this and you go back to your plan you will immediately see a new hierarchy called uh, initiative and by the way you need to understand that when you're working with the hierarchy levels all the levels that you create here create here they are applicable to all the plans that you that you have in your instance so this is something that you should be aware of uh, you may not be able to use them for example maybe you create a new level called initiative so if i select here my hierarchy initiative and i just want to see initiatives nothing else you can see here that in my in my plan i have uh, two initiatives and i can create a new sh initiative which is a good thing like maybe i want to create something like initiative uh, three maybe now this is fine and uh, this will of course be uh, an issue in uh, your pki project which is one of the project it is called as <coughs> Uh, program or portfolio Kanban uh, uh, initiative project so basically I'm using a separate project where I have all the initiatives and I don't really worry too much about the initiatives apart from just tracking the progress so 
when you create uh, these initiatives and we will also use these initiatives later on when we take a look at the program view where you can monitor these initiatives maybe coming from different plans now when you create this initiative you can of course review the changes and you can commit those changes but one thing that i wanted to show you today is uh, how to also link it to epics because you already have epics linked to stories and stories linked to subtasks which we have been uh, working on so far but you may want to also link your epics to these initiatives so linking it is very simple you just need to drag your uh, specific uh, epics to one of these initiatives and this is something that you can do very easily on your uh, improved interface so you can of course drag and uh, move the epics to a spe specific parent which is in this case initiatives and when you look at uh, the field called as uh, parent so there is a field in your improved interface called parent if you look at the field here you can see here that for the epic which is my launch android app this epic is now part of my initiative one or it could be any initiative that you just uh, created in your uh, in your uh, project and also added to your plan now let me move to the story level as well because i want to show you how it looks like so your initiatives are part of or your epics are part of initiatives and your stories are part of your epics now this parent field will show you the uh, at the right level at the story level it will show you the epic name and if you probably change it to subtask at the subtask level it will it will show you the name of the epic so this parent field is really important here because it will sh it will show you the parent now in jira issue if you look at let us say your uh, epic for example or, or maybe let us start with the story you know about the subtask when you're working on the stories you have all the subtask listed under it which is fine but the way stories are linked to the epics is using a field called as epic link now if i open one of my uh, epic which is uh, in this case uh, my user management now i can see here one epic link called launch android app if i click on it i will be taken to the epic which is fine which we all know it works quite well in uh, jira software but now with the help of this uh, link this field called parent link i can also see the initiative so you can see the trail here from subtask you can go to stories from stories you can go to epic from epic you can go to uh, initiatives and uh, you may have of course more levels so this parent parent link field is something that you can add it comes from a portfolio of course and this is something that i'm talking about the life plan so let us take a uh, uh, no i'm talking about the improved interface not the life plan so let us take a look at the life plan it is not very difficult i already have the project with uh, the initiatives that i want so if you look at let us say you are uh, Uh, let us start with the initiatives first I, i i already have the initiatives here so if i expand uh, my initiative i can see here uh, my um, story uh, my epic and under my epic i have i have of course my stories and i can also see the subtask so it is of course a bit similar when you look and when you compare it with the improved interface but we want to see if there is any parent link here Uh, so there is no field here which i can use but uh, what what you can do if you look at let us say one of your story so this is the difference in the in the life plan the old version of portfolio where you where you can of course uh, disable the improved interface you have this uh, parent field kind of a thing or a section where you can see the epic now this is the epic where uh, of course we can also see it on the plan very clearly if you go to the epic you have the same thing here you have the parent and uh, if you go to the go to the subtask uh, subtask and of course nothing they are already part of the stories now this particular section here called parent will tell you the parent but in, in terms of jira uh, i mean if you look at uh, how it actually is stored at the issue level it is similar to what you just saw in the improved interface when you look at your uh, 
epic, you have a field called parent link. So this field parent link is something that you can always add to your screen so that you also know when you're working on the issue, you, maybe you are, you're not really working on the portfolio plan, uh, but you by looking at any issue type, you can always follow the trail. You can go up, you can go down if you want. So if you let us say, go to the app, um, uh, go, go to the, I believe, uh, story, uh, which is under this epic, you can of course uh, go down and you can of course uh, go up when you are working uh, on your issues. So now we are at the story level and we have of course the epic link. When you click on the epic link, you can go to the uh, uh, epic, then you can also go to the uh, initiative. This is something that you can also do with the your issues that you're working on when uh, uh, you're using the improved interface. So so right, right now we are at the initiative level, uh, level, then you can go to the uh, epic. From Epic, you can go to the, <clears throat> of course, the issues under it, which is uh, displayed here, issues in Epic. So this is something that I, that I really wanted to show you today. And uh, I think it is very important to know how to follow the trail, how to manage these uh, links. And uh, the important thing here is that when you're working at the Epic level, and you want to view all the stories under it, or when you're working on the story, if you want to view this view the epics you have to use the epic link but anything beyond epic is something that you can manage uh, using parent link so parent link is a field that you can add it comes from portfolio and you can actually add it uh, to your uh, uh, jira issue where you can of course uh, view that link that will really help you in going up and going down uh, at any level on your hierarchy so uh, this is all I wanted to share in this uh, video. In the next video, we will take a look at uh, how to monitor the progress of your uh, plan.